New details tonight in the death of a Yuba City CHP captain and the murder of her husband. Tonight, KCRA 3 has new video of the captain after her husband's death as we learn more details about their relationship from one of the husband's friends. Such a good person to get taken out of this world like that for an evil act. And uh, I don't see why it's fair. That video shows the CHP captain breaking into her husband's home after his death and leaving with his dog. Now, this is just the latest piece of evidence uncovered in a case that spans three states. Here's what we know. In September, CHP captain Julie Harding's husband, Michael Harding, disappeared in Clay County, Tennessee. His body was found at a home in Burksville, Kentucky. Michael had been shot and sources tell us multiple times. On December 8th, Julie was arrested on charges of stalking and burglarizing the home of a woman Michael had been dating. Two days later, on December 10th, Julie Harding was found dead in Clay County, Tennessee, outside her home. Authorities do not suspect foul play. On the same day Julie was arrested, December 8th, 60-year-old Thomas O'Donnell of Napa was arrested at Sacramento International Airport. He's accused of killing Michael Harding. And new tonight, KCRA 3 has obtained new images appearing to show Captain Julie Harding before her death. Take a look at this. In this ring video, you can see Harding apparently sneaking into the home of Michael Harding's girlfriend and luring his dog out of the home. This is the video that led police to arrest Harding on charges of stalking and trespassing. And as new details continue to surface, there are continuing questions about the couple and their relationship. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo spoke with one of Michael Harding's friends and Melanie, what insight does he have into the marriage of this CHP captain and her husband? Well, I spoke with a man who says he became friends with Michael Harding right after Mike, as he called him, moved to Tennessee. And throughout their friendship, Mike revealed concerns he had about his marriage to Julie Harding and troubles his friend says ultimately led to Mike wanting to divorce her. But tonight, the emphasis of our conversation was on the true friend in Mike he lost in this crime that's filled with unbelievable twists and turns. Mike was a good man. He didn't he didn't deserve what happened to him. Preston Cleary in grief and mourning the loss of Mike Harding. He was a brother to us and uh, you know, he was our family. They became fast and close friends in the time Mike had moved from California to Tennessee, fishing and spending time together. He was gonna be in my wedding. Preston says Mike was on his way to pick up a tuxedo for that wedding when he disappeared in late September. We, we all got together and we went looking for Mike. Preston says Mike was found dead about a week later, devastating the friends like Preston who'd come to know and love him. Deep down, I knew we weren't gonna find Mike alive. Preston saying he was shocked to learn Michael was a victim of a crime like this. He was integrity through the roof. The guy, he, he couldn't tell a lie. Like um, he would always do everyone right. Wanting Mike's children to know their dad loved them. He talked about his daughter and his son all the time. You know, he was proud of them. And wanting the world to know why he's coming forward to share his memories of Mike. I could always depend on him if I needed something and you know, I'd, I'd treat him the same way. And that's why I'm here today doing what I'm doing right now. Cause he deserves it. And how he hopes Mike is remembered. What I hope that happens out of all this is you know, might to be remembered because in death, we all want to be remembered and not for what happened here, but for the person he was. So, Melanie, I know that you also learned more about this woman and police records show that she filed a trespassing and stalking claim against Julie as well. Yes, and that police report, as we have learned, ultimately led to Julie Harding's arrest. And that woman throughout all of this and in those police reports has been described as Mike Harding's girlfriend. But what Preston Cleary, the man we spoke with tonight in our story, wanted all of us to know is that Mike Harding did not start dating that woman until he was legally separated from Julie Harding. An important distinction he says sure. he wants people to know that speaks to the kind of guy he was. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Great mm -hmm. reporting, Melanie. Obviously, a lot of questions that still need to be answered, and we're going to keep digging in for all those answers. You bet. Thanks, Melanie. Now, and at one time, both Julie and Michael Harding lived in Sacramento. We went, on to, we went to the area to speak to neighbors who say that Michael Harding left a major impact on the community and was well known as a man who always helped other people. He took care of almost the whole block and had problems. He was really a hell of a guy. It's confusing. I don't know why and how. 
I don't know, it's just really sad, the fact that I missed him. I would see him every single day, talk to him. Neighbors say they showed up at the home in Sacramento on Thursday with guns drawn. That's the same day the suspect was arrested at Sacramento International Airport. Now we want to take a closer look at the criminal background of the man charged in Harding's death. Thomas Francis O'Donnell is currently in custody at the Sacramento main jail waiting to be taken back to Kentucky. We learned he faced legal trouble in Houston, Texas, where he lived in the mid 2000s. The district attorney there says he was charged for stalking and assault of his ex-girlfriend several times over the course of 2005. That woman received an emergency protective order against him in 2006. The district attorney's office tells us KCRA 3 that he did not serve time but was on probation, which he completed. At this time, his residence is listed in Napa. And we also have KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri in Tennessee right now where the CHP captain's body was found. We're here in Tennessee looking for answers in this mysterious case involving multiple law enforcement agencies. This is where Clay County Sheriff's deputies responded Saturday morning. We're at the bottom of a long driveway that leads to a home where they found 49 year old CHP Captain Julie Harding dead. We'll have the latest here from Tennessee coming up tomorrow on KCRA 3 News at 4 p.m.